Hi guys, I wanted to make a video today showing you guys what I plan on using for 2017. I have started using quite a few planners this year. 2016 was when I started getting into planners and I tried a lot. And the planners that I have liked the best are the Moleskines and I've stuck to this one since April. And so for next year too, I've gotten another one of these pocket size small skeins but along with that I also got a larger one and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like and um, what I plan on using them for if you guys can hear my dog in the background please ignore it uh, he's getting a little fussy today so first I'll talk to you guys about my uh, mole skein that I already used let me just zoom in so uh, this is the moleskin that I've already used for this year. It is a pocket size planner moleskin. And I uh, usually um, change the charms once or twice probably, but uh, this is the charm I've stuck to. And then I have a few stickers on the top. Uh, these stickers are, one is from a post that I got parcel and the other one is from one of my um, orders from aliexpress she included these freebies it says traveler's notebook on it i like that and so i left that on there and this is it says 26 it's the age that i turned in 2016. then um, i basically have the tabbing system going on here the blue marks the current month that we're in and i mark the birthdays and holidays that i get uh, the birthdays of my friends and the family that I need to wish, I mark them. The rest of them are on Facebook and um, yeah, I, I just get reminders for those. This is a crane stamp that I got from Muji when I recently went and this tape is from uh, the Muji store as well in Bangalore. The pink, uh, it this tabs the um, holidays and events section on Moleskine but I use this to mark my friends' birthdays. Then the green, I'll just briefly kind of show you, is where I write down all of the trips that I ha uh, have made or ha I'm planning to make. And then this is a list of all the things I need to pack. Zero, 01, this tab, it just shows you where January starts. Then I have 12, it just shows where December starts. Now I'll just show you guys a plain layout. This is the 50th week of December. This is a week on two pages, this planner, and it starts from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Saturday and Sunday, the weekend, it has half a box each. I particularly am okay with the whole thing. I just don't like the fact that Saturday has such a tiny space because I have work on Saturday and um, I wanted more space even on Saturday. So, But other than that, I really enjoy the setup. Uh, at the beginning, I didn't write too much. I had very little to write and slowly you guys can see uh, in January and then by June I had a little bit more and I think I really picked up my stride by the time I hit um, July I started writing a little bit more and then recently I decided that I should just add little bits of memorabilia uh, the S7 when my husband bought his S7 my um, s uh, st small stickers when I got my naked cow um, little stamps that I have and um, then I went to the Muji store so I have uh, started adding little bits of stickers here and there but nothing serious nothing too decorative and uh, the end the back bit has three to four pages of notes and it's got a pocket the pocket is where I, st I store this um, my lucky five rupee note and then I have stickies and I have bindis just in case I need them and I also have stickers in there these are also freebies from my Aliexpress order so I, I sometimes I plan on using them I still haven't so this is what I have here and my Ollie clip here marks out uh, all of the uh, soap operas that I'm watching and I like this is MKR My Kitchen Rules the 48 episode season 6 and I uh, mark down all the ones that I've seen. Then um, nothing, nothing too complicated. 
I I like that. I mean, it's really basically functional and that's what I like like about the Moleskin. I like the fact that it's already set up for you, so you just have to go out and filling it. So um, I like the week on two pages, but I've realized I have a, a list of things that I tend to write, um, things that I need to do throughout the week. And so this time I got the weekly notebook diary planner, but I got a week on one side and Wait, let me just show you guys. Week on one side and ruled on one side. So I can write down a bullet note kind of system of what I need to get done that week. So let me just show you guys. It just comes with some clear film and it has a sticker on it. I removed that. It just says download free content and tools. This is just hooked on to the inside. It has the year of 2017. If you guys want to keep that, you can keep that. And I usually prefer, as in, I like hardcover mold skeins, even though they are not that light compared to the soft skein ones, because um, I like the sturdiness of it, because I'm going to use it a full solid year, and I also like the fact that you can archive it later on. So inside you get um, a little pamphlet. In case of loss, please return to and as a reward. Wait, let me just see if it's focused. Yeah. Then it's got Moleskine Weekly Notebook 2017. Personal data page. Where you can fill things out. It's got the 2017 year at a glance. It's got the monthly, which I um, which I enjoy the most. I, I like the fact that you can just have a glance over your months. This is my, um, this is going to be my on the, on the go planner, like my everyday carry, my EDC. So I'm going to have this with me and this has the next year, 2018 as well, in case you want to plan out something, you can write that down here. International holidays, time zones, travel plans. Again, I use this section quite a bit. I don't use the rest of these though. Um, these are not, I mean, I, I don't use them, but it's nice to have. I guess and then you get on to the main pl planner starts um, yeah it starts from the 26th of December and so you can just fill in five days and again here I didn't like the fact that you get such a tiny space for Saturday and Sunday but I'm willing to uh, overlook that because I have a whole page here to write down whatever I need to do for the week and I can just fill out any appointments. I don't tend to, um, I don't, I'm not planning on using this to f document my whole day. I'm going to use that um, documentation style in my bigger uh, moles game because I realized in this one, I had quite a bit to write from July, if you guys um, uh, noticed. I had more to write and so, I thought I'm just going to keep this for my reminders and my financial tracking and my soap opera tracking, also my travels, things like that, that I need to um, mark every day. The rest of it is just the same and there's a few pages for notes, but I like the fact that it's lined. I'm going to start tracking my episodes there and comes with stickers which I'm really happy about for some reason this one the week on two pages did not come with a sticker set and I enjoy these stickers I feel they're quite functional the alphabet stickers and then you get these uh, little idea stickers probably an alarm sticker weather stickers birthday stickers I really enjoy the birthday stickers I mean I can really use these date night stickers here uh, restaurant dinner stickers birth um, gifts um, telephone calls and you get all of these hearts and thumbs ups and emoticons and they're all pretty cool I, they're all really functional and I enjoy my stickers to be functional I am not into decoration I don't use um, a lot of decor I think you can you can see that in my planners um, I like purely functional and these are all really functional and I'm, I'm glad I get got those this time so yeah that is my Everyday carry. I'm going to add um, this to my field note size 
traveler's notebook this is field note size it's 5.5 into 3.5 if i'm not wrong let me see if it's mentioned here nope it just says pocket i guess yeah it just says pocket planner so i am going to make another video you guys um part two so if you want to check that out i will link that up now okay then see you in part two